right, let's do this. Filming back to back today. Hi, Miss RX Geek here, and today I'll be talking about what pharmacy school is like for those who might be curious. Um, I'm currently in my fourth year of pharmacy school, so I graduate next year, and I can definitely speak on, you know, the experiences through pharmacy school and just how it is. So stay tuned. So the first year of pharmacy school can be a bit scary, but usually in the first year they try to ease you slowly into um, the intense stuff of pharmacy school. So usually the first year, especially in the first semester, is usually a review of some courses that you have taken in undergrad just to make sure everyone's on the same page. Um, see, it, see it as the base of a house, the basic building blocks you need to help you understand um, important concepts in the pharmacy world and also in the pharmacology world. So they just try to make sure that everyone's on, on the same level, same playing field um, before they move on to other things. So in my first year, I had um, some like human physiology, anatomy courses. Um, we did have some pharmacology, so for those who have probably never taken pharmacology before, that can seem a bit daunting, so you do get introduced to that in the first year. Um, there's a lot of practicing with, you know, learning how to read blood pressure, um, and just a lot of basic things. Um, we do get, get into something called pharmaceutics, and just learning different drug formulations, so pretty much almost the basics to pharmacy. And also in your first year, it depends on the school you go to, but um, in my first year, I had learned how to do compounding. And so compounding, calculations, pretty much the real basics of pharmacy is what you'll be introduced to in the first year. Um, it can be a bit daunting and a bit scary because it's a lot of things going all at once. So it can be hard in the first year learning how to balance everything at the same time. Second year is when you get thrown into the therapeutics. So this includes cardiology, respiratory, endocrinology, and more. And this is the part I truly liked about pharmacy school because this is what I did come to school for. So usually in the therapeutics, you're taught um, a lot of medicinal chemistry, um, so learning the structures of drugs, um, also a lot of pharmacology, and also the therapeutics, so how to manage different disease states, um, for instance, hypertension, what are the drugs that you use to treat it, knowing dosing, knowing important adverse effects, knowing what populations to use certain drugs in. It's a lot to know. And I think that was probably, you know, one of the most overwhelming parts of pharmacy school is just a lot of information. And there's so many drugs out there. And it's it, it can get overwhelming. Um, usually you'll be taking, in undergrad I had like five courses a semester, in pharmacy school it's like we have six, seven, eight, it's a, it's a lot of courses going all at once, so it's really important knowing how to organize and plan. Now when you don't have classes, there's clinical rotations that you do as a pharmacy student. And this is where you pretty much get the hands-on experience working in different pharmacy settings. And experience is golden, and this is why they include this in the curriculum. So it's not just in fourth year where you'll do a whole year of rotations, but you also have a mix of rotations in between, um, especially during the summer as a first year, second, a second year, and third year student. Um, now, in fourth year, as I mentioned, you have a whole year of rotations, um, but before third year, there's the P3 year, so the third year. And this year is tough because you know that you're so close to the finish line, you're so close to rotations, and usually, like, the workload, I, don't, I wouldn't say it necessarily gets harder, but it really depends on the courses that you do take. So there are some classes that can be tough. For instance, I know in my class, infectious disease and also oncology were some tough ones for people. When I compare pharmacy school to undergrad, I would say in undergrad, undergrad was tough, but undergrad was tough because, you know, it's almost like you're still kind of lost. You're not in the program you want to be in. You're struggling to make sure you get into the program you want to be in. What's nice about being in pharmacy school is that you know, you're know you no longer stressing about trying to get into the program of your choice, but the only stress is you know managing all these different course loads, all this heavy information, um, trying to understand it, and 
you know, trying to balance a whole lot of things at once. I think that's the hardest thing about pharmacy school. Um, and also just making sure that you're able to pass your classes and move on to the next year. One thing I will say though, make sure that pharmacy is what you want to do before you go in. Because if it's something that you're using as a backup and you may not necessarily like it, you are going to be miserable. So you make sure it is something that you truly want to do before you go in. And once you go in, yes, there will be some tough times, but it'll be worth it and you will enjoy what you are being taught. So I do highly recommend get some experience, shadow a pharmacist before you do consider pharmacy school, know what are the pros and cons about the profession and weigh it out and decide if it's really for you. So that is all I have for today. Um, I do want to um, make sure I mention that there is a Miss Rx Geek blog. If you would love to follow that and subscribe to that, just go to www.missmsrxgeek.com and subscribe to the blog if you'd love to get some updates on the blog. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.